you don't always have to get a pump. I know we'd like to get them and we sort of feel like, okay, the muscles yep. worked if we get it, but there's been many times I've never got a pump, but then the next day my muscles have been really sore, so they are still working, but just without the pump you feel like, meh, didn't really do much. So, But a lot of it comes down to just not resting and not enough food and stuff like that. So, But don't get discouraged if you don't get a pump. Just out of curiosity, how come sometimes I can't feel a pump? It can have to do with... Resting, eating, many things. As I just answered this question on a, the IFBB AMA page I do because generally we judge our workout by a pump. You know, if you get a yep. great bicep pump, everything you're like, yeah, I got a great workout, had a great workout. But there's been some days where I've done chest or biceps. And I've still trained hard because you don't have a pump. You're like, what a fucking wasted workout. That was a waste of time. But then the next day, that muscle is so sore. So you don't always have to get a pump. I know we'd like to get them and we sort of feel like, okay, the muscles yep. worked if we get it, but there's been many times I've never got a pump, but then the next day my muscles have been really sore, so they are still working, but just without the pump you feel like, meh, didn't really do much. So, But a lot of it comes down to just not resting and not enough food and stuff like that. So, But don't get discouraged if you don't get a pump. It's like if you're having sex with your wife and she doesn't climax. She still has sex with you and just fakes it, so you'll be right. It's a good analogy, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to, yeah, no, well, um, yeah, wife. <laughs> Girlfriend. Boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> whoever, whoever it is you be. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ed, the talking horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But also I think too, um, like your, your, nat your testosterone would naturally fluctuate under cer certain c circumstances. Oh, yeah, whether you're on gear, off gear, but it's, it all it really comes down to foods and that generally. And, but I think it could just be your mindset. Yeah. Because sometimes, like I said, I've eaten good and still not got a pump. Yeah. Sometimes it might just be your body saying, I don't know, you're chemically off somehow. But, yeah, I've done exercises where I'm just like, I'll go to do one exercise, I'm not getting the pump, I'll change it, I'm not getting the pump. So I might do like different exercise, but then the next day I'm like, shit, I'm sore. So it still worked, but you know, the muscle has to be working if you're still yeah, going yeah, heavy yeah. and stuff. But don't get discouraged, it's okay. Go home and have a Kit Kat. Yeah, and also uh, the thing you learn with training is every session can't be your best. No, no. And you're going to have those ones where you feel like absolute crap. and Because yeah, you're going to have the crap ones, you have the good ones. But I say even if you had the crap ones, this is how I justify it. I'm at the gym, I did something. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, I was like, I could have stayed home and done nothing, but at least I came here, I got the blood moving. So sometimes even just if it's getting that shitty, I might just hop on the treadmill and do cardio. Yeah. But at least you still went, so... You're not going to be breaking records yeah. and adding weight every day and getting this and getting that. You're going to plateau here and there. Yeah. And like I said, it could just be anything. Food. It could just be outside stress from work, yeah. relationships, anything. So don't let it get there. So you went to the gym, you did something. So you're better than probably 70% of the people who didn't go to the gym. So yeah. don't, don't be too hard on yourself. And just ride it off and tomorrow's another day and go for it the next day.